morning. It is day 65 and it is blowing outside with a mm. snowstorm. Winnie the Pooh, it's a blustery day. We are hunkered down with our neighbour Choi from South Korea. He seems to be doing okay. He's got a picture book and some writings that he does in his time off. We seem to have lost Danny. We hope he's up the trail somewhere waiting for us, probably only a mile or so. We're two and a bit miles at the bottom of Pinochet Pass. Which... And today will be a real rest day where we don't have to pack, unpack, repack, pack, pack and pack. In fact, it's so restful, we just hang out in our sleeping bags. <laughs> it's cool! But we will have to ration our food a little bit, as we have eight days to get to BBR, and this, well, this there was weather coming, we uh, have eight days food, and there was actually eight days walking. But we have plenty. Yeah, we the weather was coming, and we kind of, we did know about it, but... It, the severity is a little bit worse than what was forecasted, but it's okay, we're prepared. We will just hang out in our sleeping bags for another day. And we're hoping there's not too much snow because the track really was coming in condition with being able to see it and not covered in snow, making travel a lot easier. So, um, but anyway, we're going to hang out in our bags today, and I might. We might listen to the history of the Olympics on my phone, the audio book, entertainment, food, no wine, but we can do without that. A coffee, we have coffee. <laughs> Day 65, our hunkering down day, second video from my bedroom window, the wind has abated but it's still snowing and I've slept all morning. Pinochet Pass with a nice new coating of about one foot of fresh snow navigating in between whiteouts with Penny and Troy. end of the day there's absolutely no sign of any trail once again we are post holding and I am holding the GPS to give us some sense of direction we're just going cross country and Gina's negotiating the easiest 
route, although there is no easy way. This is about half a mile now. This is how Troy crosses the river. He's taking his shoes, thin socks. Oh, I know, he's just putting the plastic bags up by the book. Crossing. He's taken his shoes and socks off, put them around his neck and his bare feet. It's below zero and it's still snowing. Looking forward to getting to the campsite, which is about 42 of a mile away. Preparing our tent site when you are in snow. It is a lot warmer if you can get rid of the snow off the ground. Troy and Penny are doing a great job. It's day 66 and it snowed heavily overnight. It's about minus six or minus eight. What's that in Fahrenheit? Very cold. This was bare grass before we pitched camp. We had one false start, I got up at four and it was snowing heavily. But I think we're going to get up and try and get over Pinscher Pass. Good morning. And it is a good morning. It's day 66. We're at mile 804. And packing up to go over Pinshot Pass. It snowed heavily overnight and blew yesterday. So we enjoyed our down day in a sh sheltered camp spot which is now covered in snow which is going to make it difficult to find a campsite tonight. Jean is packing up. I got up at four to check if we could go and decided we would wait but the sun is shining even though it is minus probably four or five degrees celsius. Troy how are you? Can't hear. <laughs> He's good, even though he doesn't have much on his feet. And we're heading up there. Gee, I'm going to take the camera around to the northeastern aspect because things are just plastered and our progress is going to slow down dramatically. The track will be covered. It's a little bit disappointing. We won't be able to see it, we'll have to navigate. Okay, we've started walking and it's not as bad as we anticipated because it's firm under the soft new snow. But we have no idea where the trail is. So I pulled out my GPS. Gina goes in front. And I just check where we're going. And the sun has come out and it's looking like a great day. Very, very cold. And there's Choi. It's day 67 and I think we've just experienced the coldest night on the PCT to date. It was actually cold in my bag last night 
and we've made hotties, got foot warmers on and it's six o'clock in the morning and today we go over Method Pass but if we look up it's going to be sunny even though it's going to be very slow going. This is the top traverse and just down there is where we have come up that snow and if I turn right round we came across the river system. Fortunately the weather is good, sun is shining. Nothing's 
grow and wake your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in the sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold California The sun is always shining right Sing, won't you sing with me Leave everything for me Stay the night Oh your flight Walk through the rain with me Get soaked to the skin Feel free Shut the world out Let's hang out Oh, I used to see in colors Now it's gray Till I met you Till I
Hello everybody. I wanted to tell our viewers how I get the weather to Penny and Gina on an almost daily basis. My name is Paul and I'm Gina's husband. You start by going to a website and its URL is displayed both on screen and below in the comments section. Move the map to your area of interest and zoom down to the location you need. I find Gina's location from her Garmin inReach reports she sends out daily. Once you've got your location on the map, you will need to drop red pins on the boundary to the area you seek. You do this by double clicking and a pin will drop. You will need at least three pins to get an area. These pins are movable by click, hold and drag method. Once the area is defined by the pins, then click get an area forecast, which is located below the map. Remember, the bigger the area, the longer the forecast will take to download. Once the forecast is downloaded, take what information you need and send on. I do this by messaging Gina via the Garmin inReach. I found the forecast to be very accurate and did warn her of the snowstorm. Told her to hunker down, which she did, and thankfully everything turned out well, and of course they were well prepared.